Welcome to Electron Online. Some viewers asked me, how do you determine the current through each of the branches if there's three branches? Well, I thought, hmm, I had never done that before, so let me work on that. And starting out, let's first do an example with just two branches, get the concept, see some examples, and then work our way up to three branches and four branches and so forth to understand how we can calculate the current through multiple branches when they're in parallel. First of all, let's do the conceptual part here. We have a 1 amp current coming up to a junction. There's two branches. There's a 2 ohm resistor in the one branch and a 4 ohm resistor in the other branch. How do we determine the current in each of the branches? I1 through the top branch and I2 through the bottom branch. Well, first of all, we know that I1 plus I2 must equal the total current I, which in this case, of course, is equal to 1 amp. So we know that the sum of the two must add up to the total current. Also notice that the resistance in the bottom branch is twice the resistance in the top branch. That means more current will flow through the top branch because the resistance is less, and less current will flow through the bottom branch because the resistance is more. And if the resistance is half in the top branch compared to the bottom branch, then the current to the top branch will be double. It will be inversely proportional to the ratios of the resistance. Also, in other words, the amount of current to the bottom branch will be half the current to the top branch because it has twice the resistance. So what we can write here is in this case, I1 will be equal to, since it has half the resistance compared to the second branch, it will have twice the current. Therefore, I1 will be 2 times I2. If we then replace I1 by 2I2 and plug that in here, we can then say that this equation then becomes I, instead of I1, we'll write 2I2 plus I2 equals 1 amp, which is the total current in the third branch. Therefore, 3I2 will be equal to 1 amp, which means that I2 will be one-third of an amp. Then we go back to I, I1, and we can write that I1, since it is equal to 2 times I2, and I2 is equal to one-third of an amp, this means 2 times one-third of an amp, which is equal to two-thirds of an amp, which means that the bottom branch, since it has twice the resistance, will carry one-third of the amp, and the top branch, since it has half the resistance, will carry twice as much current, or two-thirds of an amp. And then, of course, together, when you look at this, we can then say that I1 plus I2, when you add them together, will be one-third of an amp plus two-thirds of an amp, which is equal to a whole amp, which was, to begin with, the current flowing into the two branches. So that's the concept. You can see that more current will flow to the branch that has less resistance, less current will flow to the branch that has more resistance, and it will be inversely proportional to the resistance relative to one another. Again, since this has half the resistance from this branch, it will have double the current. This has twice the resistance of this branch, it will have half the current relative to the other. And that's how we figure that out.